YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Uh, welcome back to Final Stretch Horse Racing Manager Sim 1. Um, because I suck at the game, we are doing a test to see if uh, the game is just really challenging and hard or whether or not I just suck. So I'm going to be playing on easy to test myself. 1600 meters, there we go. So what? These are the type of, um, those are the type of uh, short distance races I was looking for in our playthrough, but like they weren't popping up. So let's go. <clears throat> and again, let's see how uh how slow we actually are because uh it's pretty important to know if it's even worth continuing the series if i'm just inherently bad at the game at any level you know what i mean so let's see um i don't know how fast the rest of the field is going to be running so because i mean at the end of the day if the game plays the same or if the game still well i guess what i'm trying to say is if the game, as far as the AI, still plays the same on the, you know, the lower difficulty, except it's a lot easier to manage your stamina, then that could be worthwhile. I just feel like the stamina, just no matter what you do, you never have enough at the end of the race to make any moves. It's it just like the stamina itself just absolutely drains you quite a bit. And they're rolling really fast here. Holy cow. I forgot. These are like group one horses. So, um, yeah, I should be running close to 46. So... I think stamina, for whatever reason, they, they make it... I don't know if it drains faster. Again, this is a very old game. They could have put that into the game, where just on the harder difficulties, the stamina uh, is harder to manage. And that's not going to be fun. Who wants to deal with that all the time? Um, you want it to be challenging, but you don't want it to be such a hassle where it's like, I can't even race because I'm too focused on, you know, trying to uh, manage the stamina properly. Now, I'm kind of stuck right here. I can't do diddly squat. So I need one of these slow horses to, like, move and get out the way or something. Please. And now they're just glitching out. Can we go? We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Got to go. And I got to get out of here. Yes. Now. Oh, we faulted. Ah, we got to do that again. Uh, do another race because I got too, I got too anxious. I, I, I knew... That could happen, and I just, I guess, decided to say, you know, forget it. But we really got blocked in there. And, I think, again, I don't want to be at the back, especially when it comes to harness horse racing. It's it's, it's a struggle. We can do that with um, thoroughbreds, but the trotters are not the same in that regard. So can I do this race, too? So let's try to redeem ourselves here. <laughs> and, again, I'm just trying to see if I can play this game on easy. Because, like I said, maybe... Hard is just un, un, um, unrealistically challenging. You know? Like, the idea of them making that difficulty tougher was to, uh, you know, cause your stamina to decrease more. Because I, I've certainly noticed that from the last episode in this game till uh, this episode now. I noticed my stamina, without me having to do anything, is already running much better. Now, granted, this is a top tier horse. And that could also have a lot to do with it. Um, so maybe I should try a race with... Uh, I can't really choose what horses I'm doing. I guess the only way to really figure it out, <clears throat> if it's not the horse or if it's just the game difficulty, is I would have to start another uh, file and get a horse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> get a horse on easy difficulty and see if the stamina drain is the same. Um, of course, the horse I'm going to get is not going to be a very good horse, but if I notice that the stamina isn't dropping like it does on the hard difficulty, well, then there's your answer. It's like the game just decided to make it harder to manage your stamina on the higher difficulties, which to me, is that's not the point of making it harder, personally. You know what I mean? Like, that should be an option if you want it. It's like racing games. I play Formula One games. The harder difficulties don't give the AI more fuel. You know what I mean? Because of, obviously, you know, the regulations in Formula One and, and whatnot. So, in this game, if their answer is like, oh, let's make the stamina harder, then that's not really going to work. And I got ridiculously blocked. So, it's going to be too late for us to, I think, make a serious rally. But I'm going to try. Because we are coming from so far away in the back... And, um, so like I said, I, I'm actually going to try out the easy difficulty thing because I, I do want to know if it's the horse or if it's just the difficulty, um, could be a combination of both, but yeah, keep forgetting AI block you. It's just, aye, aye, aye. this game is not, 
it, it's it's funny because I've obviously played this a lot growing up, and granted, I always played on easy. I couldn't even play on hard, but um, yeah, it's just kind of funny. Like uh, as far as the things that I'm missing when it comes to this game, I'm just not making uh, smart racing decisions. And when I say that, I mean I'm allowing myself to get blocked. That's literally the only thing. So we're gonna do this easy difficulty thing test. Uh, let's go back to U.S. of A. The coach on well, competition is not really the problem. Don't really feel like the AI themselves are that challenging, but their AI is a lot better. That's probably why I went to Canada in the first place. Um, let's just go ahead and buy this property again. Uh, you know what? This is just a general playthrough. I'm not starting uh, the season this way, but if it works, if my theory is correct, then I will go ahead and start over. I think because I do want to get further into this game, like the other games. It's just you know, kind of that struggle. <laughs> <clears throat> of trying to make it happen. Now, we have some decent horses here. So we're going to get one of these gems. Um, let's get Venus. How about that? I recall seeing that horse. Seven-year-old female. Let's get her in a race. Let's get her in a race. Sorry. And let's look for a shorter distance race. 1,500 meters. Perfect. And this is on easy. So we'll be able to see if, um, if the stamina is a lot better. Now, she already has decent stamina for where she's at but keep in mind on the harder difficulty I have a horse with really good stamina and it still seemed like we didn't have enough at the end of the race even when I tried managing it to the best of my ability so it, it could be a difficulty thing now this horse is stamina 65 pretty much the same as the horse on our hard difficulty playthrough so with that being said um, you know if we have more stamina at the end of this race with this horse who technically has lower stamina than my other one on, on the hard difficulty playthrough. It's kind of clear that um, the game just makes it harder to manage your stamina. Which, like I said, uh, to me that's not the point of playing on a <clears throat> more challenging difficulty. Personally. Um, so actually I'm going to have to control this thing with the... Uh, the arrows are a little bit too slow for me. So I'm going to have to control it with the bar. Now... We're still real. We're still running pretty high here. Now this horse's technique must not be good because that's what has this red meter all the way over to the left, pretty high. When a horse isn't um, good at running in these type of races, um, their technique uh, attribute is usually really low, which means they are more at risk for faulting, breaking, being disqualified from the race, essentially. Or well, yeah, it's just automatic disqualification. I know in um, actual harness horse racing, at least here. Um, even if the horse does go on a break, um, the driver can get the horse back into the race after they've moved them to the outside. That's how it's done here in America. I'm not sure if it's done the same way in the other countries, but in America, if a horse breaks, the driver just takes the horse to the outside and then all the way to the outside and then moves that horse back once the horse has, um, you know, gotten back to its regular, its regular, um, pace or trot. So, um... We do have more stamina here, so I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure if there is something to this um, as far as the difficulty making it a little bit more challenging to manage the stamina. So we're rolling pretty nice right now. And we're going to have to move, and we're coming down the stretch. We have plenty of stamina left to go. I swear to you, my theory is going to be correct. This game just makes stamina harder to ma- uh, Ah, we just broke. Okay. Gosh darn it. That was close. But I'm pretty sure this game just makes stamina harder to manage at the higher difficulties. Which, again, to me is not really... That's not... I mean, yes, it's technically making the game challenging, but that's not the way to do it. You know what I mean? That's not the way to do it. So I think... I think I've kind of confirmed my theory, but we're going to go ahead and run one more race to uh, ensure ourselves that's the case. But I managed, I mean, like I said on the other playthrough, the horse has better endurance, but we had plenty left at the race. I just broke, and that's because I didn't even look at this horse buying it. Venus, what's her technique? Her technique is 3.2. That is awful. She she basically has no technique, and she's out there running. That's it. When you think about it, it actually makes sense. It's a horse that hasn't had very good training at all, hence why it's so easy for her to break. Now, I like that the game... Um, has the technique ability adjusted like that for realism. I think that's really cool. So we're going to get her in another race. And uh, we're going to try to really manage that one better. This will be the last one of the video. And if I can, again, verify that the stamina doesn't go down as much on this easier difficulty, then it's like, what's the point in playing on hard? 
because as you can see the ai are still challenging it's not like they get any better to me personally i don't think the ai get that much better on the difficulties and that's usually kind of what you expect in video games when you increase the difficulty the ai are supposed to get more challenging well in this game it's not really the ai that get tougher it's your gameplay mechanics they make it harder for you to manage and conserve your stamina that's like da. Ah, that's not fun you know what i mean so if that's the case and yeah i will certainly start over and just play on easy because again i was under the uh, the impression that the ai were going to be more difficult but the ai plays exactly the same way as they do on hard it's not like they're any more challenging it's the fact that i can't manage you know the stamina because the stamina is just draining itself faster because that's something that's probably been programmed into that difficulty i've played games like that and it's you know this game keep in mind this game came out in late um late 90s early 2000s so you know i don't think they would i don't think a game with that type of mechanic would be made in modern day times now our stamina is pretty close here i'm trying to manage it but we have yeah her technique is really really bad um my goodness but we're kind of uh we're doing our thing here on the outside riding pretty good and i'm gonna keep her right here because again i'm just trying to prove a point that the ai are pretty much the same it's the fact that i have more stamina to deal with the stamina was much harder to manage on the harder difficulty it was just draining at a faster rate essentially the stamina was draining faster than the remaining duration of the race that that to me is what make made that much more difficult and even still uneasy i'm not saying it's you know it's a perfect situation the stamina is still pretty tough to um pretty tough to, to deal with you know what i mean but um again it's much more manageable and it's not draining as as fast so there it gives you a chance to actually win the race or at least be competitive in the race you see here based off of this effort ai still challenging enough pretty you know nothing has really changed in regards to their performance but we were able to hold out there and actually get a fourth place finish and win some money so i'm pretty confident that the, you know the stamina mechanic on hard is let's be honest broken that's the thing with horse racing games there's quite a few mechanics that are somewhat broken it's just a matter of you know playing around them adapting oh my goodness her technique is at six that's good but it, it's improving i kind of would like to play through on this file but we're not going to um because uh i would actually like to start over get the right colors going and everything so the hard difficulty not going to do we'll try again on easy and um i also mix in having the ai uh drive our horses as well you know i do want to actually get through this series legitimately and i feel like i've restarted a whole bunch of times because this game is very weird and again it's it's an older game so having to learn how this game was programmed compared to what you're used to dealing with in today's gaming is, is completely different you know what i mean so you kind of have to play a game uh quite a bit and try out a lot of different things to see how it plays because there's no patches for this game i don't know anybody that can patch it so this game is going to be the way it is and that's the difference between uh horse racing manager one here and horse racing manager two people are actually able to modify some of the files including myself in horse racing manager two to make that game play different nobody knows how to knows uh exactly how to do it here for this game and like i said the files in the system that this game was created on is extremely outdated and i don't even know uh what regular gamer or consumer would have um that system or, or that software you know so this game is is where it's at so that's why it's like i probably should have been doing more experimentation trying to figure out what was the best difficulty to play on what affects stamina you know is it the horse is it you know whatever uh, of course me not being great at the game is not um helping but the point is the stamina on the hardest difficulty is just draining at a faster rate and again to me that's not making the game more challenging it's just it's not making it more challenging in a gaming way you know to make you want to continue to play maybe for for some gamers the the odd one out you know may like something like that but again if 
to me, the, the point of raising the difficulty in the game is for everything to get more challenging, uh, including the AI. And again, the AI uh, drivers and horses in this game, they have that, they, they didn't get better by me playing on easy, or they didn't get uh, any easier. Like I said, stamina was easier for me to manage, but the AI were pretty much running at the same rate. We still didn't even end up winning. So to me, if it was the AI that changes dramatically, we would have won that race with ease, and they would have been quite far behind us. They would, they would have made the AI... Um, have a uh, bad tendency of, um, you know, tiring their horses out too quick or something. And that wasn't the case. The AI, to me, don't change as far as easy, medium, or hard is concerned. But the way you have to manage your stamina, that gets more challenging. And again, if that's the point of playing on a harder difficulty, then I don't want to do that because there's no fun in that. Now, one thing I am curious about is uh, these stupid auctions. Like, I wonder if it's still automated on easy as well. It has to be. Um, I can't imagine... No, 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 no. I, um, I want to buy a horse. I'm going to go to purchase, and I'm going to go to public auction. I'm going to go to an auction. Uh, I want to get the worst horse if I can, and I can't even select. Let's see. We can do listed. All right. All these horses are pretty solid. That's the thing. But we're going to go ahead, go to the auction, and let's see if this thing is the same way. Next event. Uh, Fleet Majesty, this horse, because it doesn't look that great start the auction let's see okay so you can bid on easy but not on hard i've changed nothing except the difficulty people remember when we tried this in a previous episode on the hard difficulty it there was no option for me to bid now i do have more money of course that's a given i do have more money but I think even in one of the previous auctions from the last video, I had enough, and we still weren't able to make a bid. So this game's a little bit broken. And granted, like I said, these auctions you have to have you need to have like over a million dollars in your in your actual bank to really make this worthwhile, in my opinion. Like you have to have at least over a million. Um, so yeah, I think well we'll just go ahead and start over on easy and. Uh, kind of roll through from there because um like i said hard it, it just makes the stamina you know management more difficult and again that that to me defeats the purpose of playing on a harder difficulty because that's not how uh, it should be done so i think we will start again in the us of a because i don't think any other um i don't think any other track if i go to stable and i just do another one i don't think or any other country excuse me is worth playing on for trotting now canada you know we of course we started over because um, we weren't getting good uh, races for the trotting. USA seems to be the best because the trot is the highest. The winnings are still high. The competition is high. Setup costs. I mean, you kind of got to deal with that. But the winnings and the overall um, structure of it is a lot better in, in the US of A. As far as the other countries, um, competition is the lowest in Germany. So <laughs> if we wanted to do it over there, we could. But my goodness, trying to pronounce all those tracks would be a headache, not just for me, but probably you guys, too, to have to listen to me. So uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, I'll start over last time on easy because playing on hard is no point if it's just going to make the uh, stamina harder to manage. Um, so, yeah, we'll start over and actually try to get through this game um, at least into year five. That's my target goal. I'll probably play with one or two horses tops use them um, we can do breeding uh, with uh, the filly which I would love to do and once we do that uh, we can hopefully uh, race our foal which will take a full two years to develop um, I think you can't raise them I, in this game I'm not sure if it's two or three years old uh, most of the games are two but I'm not sure if that's the case in this one we'll have to wait and see but until next time towards racing gamer sending out I'll be all have a great fantastic day I'll see you and goodbye